Right, so I'm back with another squad builder, Inform Sturridge, Inform Sanchez. Now Sanchez, it's a bit disappointing really because he's got high, high work rates. It is kind of an off put, but I think if you put instructions on him to stay forward, hopefully it will work. Now Sturridge looks like an absolute beast. Like his non-inform is just incredible. Uh, now I know pace doesn't mean much on this game, but it's not just that. He seems he feels really strong. He's six foot two as well, so he's, he's strong. He's six foot two, and his dribbling feels ridiculous. Like the LTRT skill dribbling is just ridiculous. And also, I've got this five star skiller as well at right wing. He looks really, really cheap, really good. Uh, obviously, I tried to keep this this team cheap as I always do for these kind of squad builders because the informs are cost a lot. They're nearly a mil on their own just for the two informs up top so the rest of the team is really cheap I'm pretty sure I think I think the only like kind of expensive one is Roberto Firmino for two uh, not two thousand ten thousand coins but yeah I'm gonna stop rambling get into a game hopefully it's as good as the last squad builder where we absolutely destroyed with that team so yeah let's just get into a game and let's go hmm is this mainly just a athletic build bout team it is pretty much, but I'm assuming it's because they're all the cheap players in the Liga. They're all like the cheap, like decent ones. But 4-1-4-1, I've not played this formation before, this, so should be an interesting game. Let's go, let's see how it goes. Let's go Sanchez, let's go, let's go. Cut inside, come on. Put it over, oh my god, what a fucking ball. Holy shit, what a ball from Sanchez. Fuck. Look at this for a ball! Holy shit! No, Diego Alves. No, why did he? Why did he palm it out to him like that? Why is he? Why did he do that? Like, there's no need to palm it out to him there. Go on, Sturridge. Come on, Studge. 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 Oh my God, he is so fucking good. I've only used him for like. This game, I used him previously and the guy quit really early and he felt really good. But look at that, just absolutely destroyed his defence and then the outside of the boot finish. Brute, beautiful. Sanchez, nice ball, Sturridge. Sturridge, finish. Oh my god. Fuck me, this guy is ridiculous. He's finishing everything. That's a beautiful finish. Another finish from Sturridge. Oh my god. I should have said something then, actually. But that was a really nice ball. I think it was from Firmino. Yeah, it was. It's a really nice ball from Firmino. And Sturridge takes it onto his left. And is there any doubt? Is there any doubt? Oh my god. No, no. Oh, thank fuck for that. Ref. It's got to be a red card. He's given him a red. That I, I knew it would be a red card. It deserves to be a red card. Why are you complaining? Five shots, four goals for Daniel Sturridge, and he gets the match ball. Rightly so as well. Right, so in that first game, Sturridge absolutely dominated. Got four goals in that one game. He just finished everything. Like, he only had uh, five, <laughs> five shots. He only had five shots. He scored four goals, and I think he nearly even scored his, four, his uh, fifth shot as well. So, that's what you call clinical, like, Every shot, pretty much, he's, he's put it in the back of the net. Now, this team just felt really creative, really smooth. The the attack, the uh, free, free up front, and then Firmino at Cam just works perfectly. Now, you might be thinking, oh, you got that fucking Porto Mike on with 66 pace at the back, and you got Pereira at right back with 76 pace, and you've got a 59 pace centre mid, and you got another 43 pace centre mid, like, really low pace in this team. Pace doesn't mean anything. Trust me. It kind of means something on the attack, but that's just mainly for counters. And when you when you flick the right stick, you go bursting forward. That's the only reason it's really good. But apart from that, pace doesn't really mean much. But I'm gonna get into a second game. I'm gonna stop rambling because I'm talking shit. But yeah, let's just get into another game and hopefully it's as good as the first one. Let's go. I think I might have made a bit of a boo boo here because. Um, we kind of click similar color kits, so this could be really bad. However, that's a decent, that's a decent looking team. I don't know why he's got Mbemba. It's just fast centre backs who are really small. 
I don't see the point. But Gradle, Shakiri, Lukaku, Payet, that could cause me a problem. Come on, Sturridge. Come on, Sturridge. Sturridge. Oh, my God. So close. That's a free kick, ref. Free kick. Thank you very much. Who's going to even take this free kick? Don't know who's got the best free kick stats. Sanchez has got decent ones. Arteta's got decent ones. Uh, it looks like it's Sanchez taking this one. Sanchez? Oh my god, he's in the bar! Firmino! Woo! Roberto! Good old Bobby Firmino. Get in. Sanchez is free kick at the bar. That was a really like awkward angle as well to get it on target. Look at that. Hit the bar and then he just bounces nicely to Firmino. Arteta, Carvalho, Sturridge. Sturridge! What a finish, Sturridge! Oh my god! <laughs> just pass it to Sturridge and shoot. Holy shit. Look at this. What? That's the fucking hell. No one's getting to that. As if. That's a great finish. Is that Gradle? I think that was Gradle. That's a fantastic finish, that. Oh, it's a great ball from Firmino. Sturridge. Of course he's finished it. There's never any doubt. You just play. A, oh, my God. He's, he's perfect. He's perfect. What a tackle, William Carvalho. Come on, Sturridge. Come on. That's it. Come on. That's it. Come on. That's it. Come on. Come on, Sturridge, please. Oh, my God. He is so fucking good. <laughs> oh, my God. This guy's the best striker I've used in FIFA 16. Without a doubt. Fucking hell. Oh, it's Carrillo. It's a great touch. That's a fucking striking off. Fuck. That went like an absolute missile into the top left. Look at this. T turns his player completely with a nice little touch and just sets himself up into the top left. What a strike. What a fucking game. 5-1. Seven goals Daniel Sturridge scored for me in two games. Right, so I had two fucking awesome games. If you haven't, if you haven't tried in form Sturridge yet, or it, uh, unfortunately not everyone will be able to afford him but if you can afford him go out and get him to the people that are watching this that, are, that can, can afford storage go out and get him he is one of the best strikers I have used on this game he is fucking incredible he is absolutely incredible I, I just can't believe how easy it was to just finish with him it was just so easy to put it in the back of the net I think in the two games he had he had about nine shots and I think he scored seven goals. So, that says it all really, doesn't it? That that says it all. That's pretty much a goal every shot. Now, this Carrillo as well, if you saw in the last goal, I think it was the last goal I scored in the last game. Carrillo scored an absolute banger. Sanchez is good. It's just, for some reason, he wasn't getting in the positions I'd like him to be. I think it's because of his high, high work rate. I think it just, I think it affects his positioning too much. But the rest of this team was incredibly well balanced. It was all round just solid. But Sturridge was without a doubt the main man. And he just absolutely ripped it apart. So if you can afford Sturridge, get him. Smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new. Twitter as always is down below in the description. I will see you guys in the next video. Which is hopefully going to be, if I can get my hands on him, a Hero Lewandowski squad builder. So hopefully I can get my hands on him. And hopefully... I'm just wondering if he's as good as Sturridge is because Sturridge is just fucking incredible. But I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.